Hey, what's going on guys? It's Two Shot here from Two Shot Gaming. And today we're doing too many items installed with Forge. This is nice and simple. It's really not that hard. Please, if this helps you out, make sure that you hit the like button and share it with your friends so more people can understand how to do it. It's very nice and simple and it's easy. We'll go over that today and it'll be a lot of fun. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do, we're going to need Minecraft. We're going to need Forge 1.8. And too many items. When these things update, they'll, you'll be able to do it for 1.8.1, 1.8.2. The, the way to install it is pretty much the same. You just have to make sure you're using the right links. For these installations, you have to use WinRAW or 7-Zip, the archivers, to help you move files around. I'll leave links in the description for you. But please make sure that you look on videos on how to use them so it's a little bit easier. I don't have time because I'm trying to make this video quick. But learn how to use those things. Next thing you got to do. Is that you have to go to your Minecraft. I saved time I already did this. Go to Minecraft, go to 1.8 or whatever version you're trying to run at this time, just in case of a different version. And make sure you run that in your profile at least one time. Make sure you play that version one time before you start it. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to go to, let's see, we're going to go to here. I'm sorry, I've been looking at a lot of stuff today. But I'm going to give you this page right here. This is Minecraft. Do the latest version. Go to the installer. Click on the installer. And then bring in the air file. Skip the air. If it doesn't work for you, you have like an air blocker on or something like that. Take it off. So you can like help out the mod maker that are making these mods. Because they don't get paid. They make these mods. So they need airfly and stuff. So use airfly. Go through that. Skip the air. Download it onto your desktop. Put it onto your desktop. Make sure it's there. Okay. So after you're done with that, let's go to too many items. You go here, you'll see Forge Mod or Jar Mod. You want to look for the Forge Mod. Look for any versions. There'll be tons of versions down here. Forge and non-Forge, Forge and non-Forge for a whole bunch of stuff. So make sure you go to Forge Mod. Take that. I'll take you to Airfly. Skip all that stuff. Put it on your desktop. So now you got both of them on your desktop. Then what are you going to do? you got to take the Forge one. Put it right in the middle of the screen. So it's nice and easy to see. Open with Winvar. And you go, I mean, I'm sorry, it's open with Java TM platform SE binary. That'll work. It'll open up to like a little forge window like that. Or you can double click it and it'll open up like that. Or if this doesn't work, go to open with, choose the full program. It should be in here. If not, look for other programs. If not, go to browse and browse your Java file until you find that. Okay, you're looking for this one right here. Okay, if you have trouble finding that, go to go to a video of how to find Java and stuff like that. And it'll make it a little bit easier, but most of the guys it'll work. Alright, so you wanna well, we're just gonna double click on it. Client install. Make sure it's going to your dot minecraft roaming, however you have it set up, but make sure it goes into your dot minecraft. Normally it does with no problem. It takes a few seconds depending on your computer. If it's a little faster computer, it'll take about thirty seconds to a minute. If it's a little older computer, this might go really slow because it's trying to download all the packs and put all the stuff in that it needs. Now everything's good, good to go. You want to start up your Minecraft real quick. Or real slow, depending on how your computer is. Then you want to go to, so you see you're ready to play Minecraft 1.8. You want to go to Edit Profile. Click here and go down to Forge. You'll see this Forge. This is the Forge we just installed. Go Save. Then you want to go Run. You want to now, now you want to put that into your Minecraft. And that'll take a few a few seconds, because now it's on it's unpacked, but now it's taking a chance to run with Minecraft and go together. See, so now you got three mods out of three mods loaded. I'm sorry, I am unfortunately available on Skype by accident. So if you heard that, I do apologize. Um, also, what I want to do is shut off the sound for Minecraft. All right, so we got that down. Three mods out of three mods loaded. That's going to show you the uh, Ford mod, the Coda Pack, and Minecraft Forge, the version that you're using. Alright, so you want a quick game. Now you want to do, you want to hit start. Go here, go to percent, app data, percent. That'll take you to your Roman file. See, percent app data percent. That'll take you right to your Roman file. Nice and simple, nice and easy, right? Or you can do for Windows 7, I know it's, it's Windows R. Hold Windows down, then hit R. 
And I'll take it to the same exact place. You hit OK. And it'll bring up this window. Sorry, it popped up on the other screen. Then you go down to you see dot .minecraft. You download a lot of mods. You have a lot of bunch of crap here. But look for dot .minecraft. Now you'll see that there's a mods folder. Mods folder is nice and empty. You've got a nice fresh install. If you do this with a bunch of different mods, you throw everything in one thing, it's going to crash. It's not going to work. All right, so then you take too many items. This is the Forge version, so make sure it says Forge right there. It's nice and easy, right? Drop that in and exit out. You don't even need this no more. You take it, drag it over there or something. You don't need it. It's already installed. You can keep it for later times. You want to make different jars or just get rid of it altogether. And now this is going to be a pain, right? Yeah. All right. So now that I have to apologize for that, hit play. Now you already got the forge set up and stuff like that. So now we're just going to go in and make sure that we have too many items. It takes a few seconds. Four mods are four mods active. Now we got four mods active. Now we got too many items in there for 1.8. Now we go to single player. Open this up a little bit. Create new world. I guess we don't have to go to career. We can just go survival. And just create a world. Nice and simple. You go into your world and everything's kind of, it'll be nice and easy. We'll have your recipes and everything you need. Oh, God. And you hit E, and now you have everything here. See? You can spawn all the stuff in. Anything you want. I know there were some people saying that this doesn't work for some reason in vanilla. But as you can see, I can spawn all the stuff I want in. My forge is a little glitchy, so, you know, it's getting better and better. By now, I would think it's a pretty pretty nice, stable build. I would trust it now. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace! What is that? What was that? Ah! Oh, it's just money.